Thank you for joining us again on the newsroom. Here are some stories we're following at the moment. River State Governor Yusuf Mwike has thanked Nigerians for supporting the return of power to southern Nigeria. The People's Democratic Party governor said the issue of rotational presidency has been settled for good with the emergence of a president-elect, Bola Tinubu, who is from the southern region of the country. Mwike spoke when he joined his oil state counterpart, Shei Makinde, to commission the oil state 5 million litre aviation fuel dispensing depot at the Ibadan airport and expressed the light that Makinde is one of those that backed power shift to the south after the eight year tenure of the incumbent president, Muhammad Buhari, who is from Katsina State in the northwest geopolitical zone. And the federal government has mourned the victims of a fatal train crash that left schools dead on February 28. At least 38 people were killed when a passenger train carrying more than 350 people collided with a freight train on Tuesday shortly before midnight in Tempe, near the city of Larissa, leaving heaps of debris in its wake. The Greek fire service said 57 people were being treated for their injuries in the hospital with six in intensive care units. In a statement on Friday, the spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Francisca Omayuli, extended the Nigerian government's condolences to the Greek government and people praying for the dead victims as well as those who are recuperating in various medical facilities in Greece. And the federal government says 1.94 million Nigerians are currently receiving 5,000 Naira cash gifts on a monthly basis as part of the National Cash Transfer Program for Vulnerable People. Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Sadia Farouk, said this at a one-day stakeholders retreat on the National Social Investment Establishment Bill. The minister said the objective of the National Social Investment Program Establishment Bill was to provide a statutory and institutional framework for the implementation of the National Social Investment Program. And the Vice Chancellor University of Jas Unijas Tanko Ishaya has received a DNA based indigenous COVID 19 vaccine candidate produced by a consortium of Nigerian universities and inter-university centers which will undergo pre-clinical trials in Unijas. The Vice-Chancellor in a statement said the university's mandate and the research consortium's collaborative and interdisciplinary project towards developing an indigenous COVID-19 vaccine was to utilize modern technologies to conduct PCT of the vaccine candidates and develop a strategic communications tool for measuring the acceptability and uptake of the vaccine candidate among Nigerians. In business, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, has said the Maiduguri Emergency Power Plant Project is a giant step towards achieving its gas and power mandates to add 50 megawatts into the national grid generation. The group chief executive officer and NPCL, Melek Kiari, made this known during the commissioning of the 50 megawatt Meduguri emergency power plant project. Kiari said on the directive of the president, the unveiling of the emergency thermal power plant would open a new chapter of the NNPCL commercial energy for on-grid and off-grid capital markets. And the World Bank says over 2.4 billion women of working age still do not have the same rights as men. In a report titled Women, Business and the Law, the World Bank said that the global pace of reforms towards equal treatment of women under the law has slumped to a 20-year low, constituting a potential impediment to economic growth at a critical time for the global economy. The International Financial Institution said that in 2022, the global average score on its Women, Business and the Law Index rose just half a point to 77.1, indicating women on average enjoy barely 77% of the legal rights that men do. And in sports, Paris Saint-Germain and Morocco defender Artraf Hakimi has been charged with rape. The 24-year-old was questioned by prosecutors on Thursday in connection with accusations from a 24-year-old woman and subsequently charged. The Madrid-born player allegedly paid for his accuser to travel to his house while his wife and children were away on holiday. Meanwhile, under French law, being charged does not necessarily mean the case will go to trial. That's the latest from the newsroom. Thank you for staying with us. I am Mary Cannon.